Hello everybody and thank you for joining. This is your host Nino and I am still recuperating from quite the cold I had. So forgive me if I sound a little weird. But tonight I am inviting you to something truly entertaining. The pinnacle of mixture of modernity and antiquity for in today's experiment we shall be controlling a remote cloud environment through punch cards and I would like to introduce you to the whole setup a little bit Evidently, these are the punch cards which we will be using in order to control the cloud environment. And they, each punch card, contains Lisp code, right? So here we are defining a factorial function, and in the end we'll be computing the factorial of 66. Now... The device through which we will be connecting is this tablet. As you can see, the screen is split between, on the one hand, Thermux, and on the other hand, a serial to TCP bridge. The serial to TCP bridge itself is connecting this Arduino Uno, which serves as punch card reader to port 4004 or 4008, depending on whatever I'm in the mood, on this device. So, if there is a TCP listener on port 4004, it is going to get those characters, which this punch card reader here will be deciphering from reading the punch card. Now, as to what shall be receiving our signals, it is going to be this command, which I shall explain in a little bit of detail. So we are using here SOCAT. This is something like a more advanced version of NETCAT. And you can imagine it this way, that while usual CAT is dumping a file onto standard output, SOCAT is dumping something onto something in a very flexible way. And it can also execute system commands, which is the first thing it is doing here. So it is saying connect through SSH using key-based authentication to my cloud account. There, show us what characters are arriving and dump them onto standard error. Now we want that to be dumped onto standard error so we can read here what is happening. Because if it would be just standard output, then these two beauties would be chatting, but we would not be seeing what is happening. So we need to dump things on standard error. And then, after having dumped the characters received, so we can see that the punch card is being read correctly. Also input those characters from the punch card to ECL, which is a very nice Lisp environment. And ECL itself shall also write to standard error. So, you know, this usual thing where somebody is connecting standard error to standard output, well, we are doing the reverse. We are connecting standard output into standard error. Again, so we can see here what's happening. And here is the TCP listener on port 4004. And when we start that, then we can let this thing connect to it. Okay. And then this punch cut reader will be sending whatever it is receiving into Lisp on the cloud account. And then we can actually run our punch card pro program. So that's what we will be doing now. All right, now let's press enter and connect to the cloud account.
Very good. So this is actually the Lisp listener. Now, let us connect to localhost port 4004. Very good. So now, let's send through the three punch cards that have our factorial function. Ta-da! So, as you could see, we were just able to execute a factorial function which we defined all through punch cards on a remote cloud environment. And with this, today's demonstration ends. I hope you enjoyed it, and as you can see, there is still life in the old punch cards. I hope you will become my regular guests. I hope to greet you here soon again. From me, have a wonderful evening and goodbye.